been a lot of uh, talk about the Steely Dan catalog that Analog Productions is putting out, the UHQR version, all mastered by Bernie Grunman. Well, um, I just talked to Chad this morning from Analog Productions. I wanted to confirm one thing. Uh, the mastering um, of Bernie Grunman was the master, the mas same master used to cut the UHQRs as the UMGs that have a digital step in them, and we'll get into that in a second. So Chad's answer was yes. The same master that Bernie Grenman used to master the UHQRs were also used to cut the UMG versions. The difference, Chad told me, was this. That Alex Abrush from AA Mastering would have made, obviously, some adjustments to Bernie's master and then cut it to vinyl. The vinyl, of course, by UMG is from a Canadian pressing plant at 33 RPM, precision pressing plant in Canada. Of course, the UHQRs are 45 RPM. So yes, there's obviously some differences there. Clarity vinyl versus normal black vinyl. Now, the other controversy, we had it on the round table yesterday, was, um, I guess, the top end of Steely Dan's pretzel logic, the mastering. I guess a remastering of the UHQR. Um, Chad said in, an, I guess, one interview that they made a decision to roll off some of the top end, which means obviously the vocals don't sound as maybe as in your face as the original. So what I've done, I don't have the UHQR. I do have the UMG. I just got it the other day. And I also have a an original 1974 ABC copy. Um, I checked the matrix. This is definitely original. This is the Santa, this is the Santa Maria pressing. I think the pressing plant back then, original versus the UMG. And I can tell you that um, definitely the vocals on the original come. I'll use Ricky. Don't lose the number. It means the easiest one. Definitely a little bit louder. Um, you hear them more uh, clearly, and they are more in your face than the UMG version. So. Uh, I think that's the same argument we're hearing with the UHQR uh, with the top end. So yeah, the, definitely the same mastering is used. Alex Abrush from AA Mastering cut the UMGs from Bernie's master. Might have made some tweaks here or there, but it's the same master. Pretzel Logic original versus the UMG. I felt the original sounded a little bit better, a little bit more dynamic. Um, on the top end, vocals absolutely sounded better. Um, on the top end, especially on Ricky Don't Lose that number, definitely. But all in, I mean, you know, if you're looking for decent sounding Steely Dan, brand new, um, you know, for what, 25 bucks at your local record store, not bad. If you want the ultimate in, I think, the Steely Dan catalog cut at 45 RPM, definitely grab the UHQRs. Now, one other thing too about the UMGs, um, I mean, they went back and they're putting their records in a paper sleeve. I mean, come on, crap, hate that. Get rid of the paper sleeve. Um, don't know why they do that, but I guess it still happens today. So there you go, same master that Bernie used, Bernie did for the UHQR is used for the UMG, just so uh, there's no other debate over that, plus, Asia is being pushed to October 29th release now. Um, according to Chad again, spoke with him this morning, it's because, you know, there's a lot of records he has to press and it takes time. So there you have it, I guess, from the horse's mouth. Have a great day and go and spin some Steely Dan. See you later.